Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are we all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Diddy and his VMA performance at this year's uh, MTV Awards, MTV VMAs. And before I hop into it, of course, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Um, also, you guys, I do want to mention that I'm a little bit sorry that my content, in my opinion, is a little bit late. Like, I am doing my best. Um, I was having some if issues logging in to MTV the night of, and I have a job, a uh, day job. So you guys know from some of my other videos that I do work in sales, and you know how that can be, so if you work. But other than that, I'm here 4 a.m. giving you content because I love y'all. I love this channel. And just thank you for being here. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate your view so, so much. And now let's get into Sean Combs. So with Diddy, I did not like his VMA performance. Did you guys watch it? Like, how do you feel about it? Of course, let's talk. I really am not feeling Diddy's performance. I don't fuck with Diddy like that. Like, Diddy is untrustworthy as fuck, and he do too fucking much. Like, lately, he doing too much. Because he's really, really trying to be on, like, his good guy tour. And it's, like, a weird way, because it's not an apology tour. It's a good guy tour. It's a I'm a good guy tour. It's a rebrand redesign my image tour and i have to say shout out to saki by the love because she did predict and say that diddy was really trying to clean up his image and he's doing a lot of that because he's uh he has a show on mtv supposedly that's coming called diddy plus seven which is going to be like a reality show with him and his kids and i told y'all i'm here for it I think the reality show is a great fucking idea, Diddy and his kids. I've been said that, okay? I've been said that um, because Psyche Bella Love, uh, Bella said that it's going to, like, replace the Kardashians. It could be a replacement for the Kardashians. And if we could get them witches up out of here, finally, like, I'm here for Diddy and his black kids, like, being on TV. So, whatever it takes. But with, I feel like with Diddy... Um, and this is, again, what Psyche by the Love was saying. Like, Diddy is feeling like, oh, I'm going to have this show, so I need to kind of, like, rebrand my image and all this other stuff. Because notice the moves that he's making. He just got this new baby. He trying to mess with Young Miami so he can get a younger audience. And that makes sense because, of course, like, it's easy to really think. If you slow, you probably think, oh, yeah, like, they really in a relationship. If you street smart, you probably feel like, oh, you know, like, she just fucking him for a bag, you know, like, he he just fucking her because she bad, and she just trying to get a bag. But in my uh, mind, as a person that know how the industry work, because somebody else said this too, and I agree, is um no diddy's messing with her because she's good for press and marketing like he's trying to be with her and like get seen with her because diddy is old as fuck and he's not even old as fuck he's just too old to be doing the shit that he doing like when i saw this dude performance tonight i was like diddy you know you need to sit your ass down like what the fuck you know but i'm gonna drag him some more on that later but it's like diddy is well into his motherfucking 50s and he's still trying to, you know, just like he still got this real young man spirit in him. And that's why he fucking he did. He did. He is an energy vampire for real. Like you can tell, like allegedly, you know, he be doing shit. But it's just like, yeah, Diddy, you move like an energy vampire. So with Diddy, he trying to get young people to fuck with him. You know, he's worn out his welcome with a lot of older generations because they know bitch you a thief you evil as fuck like you move a certain way like and they over diddy like but he trying to get the young people to start fucking with him that's why he making new music with young artists who popping right now but with diddy i just feel like dude like what's the you know what's the motivations behind it all but when you're a narcissist 
and especially people in that industry, a lot of them are, again, highly narcissistic, highly materialistic. They just want, you know, more fame, more money. And there's never enough. Like, it's never enough flexing. It's never enough. And so that's why we see Diddy geeking the fuck out like he is now. Now, let's talk about the performance. Like, Diddy, you're not going to convince me that you no good dude wearing all red like the devil, bro. Like, don't play with me. Like, this should I be talking about. And then he going to bring his son on stage trying to appeal to the people. And he going to bring his son on stage. His son looking like a damn Diddy doppelganger and shit. Low-key, he is. And it's just like, what? Like, this needs to stop. Like, did he let your kids have their own life? Like, Justin, we haven't seen him in a minute because last we heard, he had a damn DUI. And now, you up here parading Christian around, you know, my son, and, you know, and it's like, did he, like, does Christian have an identity outside of being your son? Like, for real. And I get it. He really might look up to his dad and, like, love his dad and all of that. But it's like, Diddy, I have a hard time. And I'm just saying, you guys. And please let me know if you rock it with me in the comments. I hope y'all are enjoying the noise of the background, of the background rain. Like, in this video, it might put y'all ass to sleep. But with Diddy, I just feel like, look, dude, you've done a lot of evil shit. And everybody can't make up stories about you. And you are a narcissist. Your kids have had to have seen something over the years. You know, you, they allegedly saying you part of the reason why their mama not here. So you want me to believe that your kids are just so like, especially Christian, just so like down with just some of the shit that you be wanting him to do i don't know like diddy and his kids and he really be swearing up and down he just such a good damn daddy and it's like diddy you take care of your kids by being there and giving them money but diddy the last time i saw your daughters they were scantily clad justin yes has gotten in trouble with the law and then misa came out and read your ass for filth you know what i'm saying that something with that was strange kim porter is not here anymore something with that was strange and just and, and christian don't have his own identity it seems allegedly or to me and it seems like quincy is the only one who may have made it out somewhat decent you know good for him he's acting but he's still in the hollywood regime and I know how that works so with diddy it's just like dude look i'm not believing you run you know you looking like the devil himself as you try to make it seem like you a good dude like no diddy no you've done too much you have done too much you have gone too far we know who we fucking with like when JT was like, what you working with? Bitch, we know what you working with and we don't want no parts. And it's like you get up here and you perform these old ass songs and jive around fucking stage. And like, Diddy, you've had your time. This this award show was full of nostalgia rituals. And it's like people like Diddy just never get tired. Like they are awarding you for what? Just like with BET, when he pulled that bullshit with BET, where they gave him some high award and fucking clone yay, presented it to him. It's just like, what did you, what, what are you getting out of this? And it's just like, this is all to feed your ego. This is all about your massive ego. And you're just such an energy black hole. Like, for real. Ain't nobody fucking with you, Diddy. You look evil in the face. Because you've done so much high level evil in your life. Like you've been in the Illuminati for so long and you got the nerve and it's like, you so blasphemous. Like that's why I can't fuck with you because you get your ass out there in all red. Everybody on stage is in all red. Like it's that, this whole award show was giving, like I felt like a tea bag steeped in hell. 
steeped in blood steeped in fire like this whole award show was so demonic like they like like they always are they're nothing but big rituals i mean come on the channel is pop culture conspiracy y'all knew i was gonna point that out and y'all knew it was gonna be demonic just like the super bowl just like the oscar it's like the grammys they're gonna all have some weird freaky demonic like shit going on because that's just it's, it's rituals really those these are names of their rituals oh the oscar that's one big ritual ceremony so don't get it confused but with diddy it's like you come your ass out here and everybody in all red talking about some i'd be missing you and you know and then you want to sing um what's the mesa song so disrespectful and he gonna sit up there just a few weeks ago just a few days ago oh i gave mace back you know some of his publishing or whatever and then you go out there and perform his song and that was just weird I just wasn't feeling that. I'm like, Diddy, why is you, like, like, I don't know how this works, but I know that there's a difference between, like, it's, there's, there's something that happens when somebody else performs your song. And I hope that you're not still trying to get checks off this dude. Like, leave Mace alone. Like, what did Mace do to you? And it's like, you know what? Mace, as we have seen, and this is going to tell y'all something about this motherfucking industry, like notice how there are people who get in this industry they start fucking with certain people and then they go back to god real real hard and heavy dmx and mace are two people i can think of that should tell y'all something diddy is evil as fuck and it's like you and mace have had issues for years and it's like why and it's because your evil ass probably couldn't get that boy soul or maybe, you know, maybe it's scoring lovers. It's low key given that. So with Didius is like, like leave Mace alone. You've done enough. You didn't need to go out there singing that song. Like you didn't need to like you just be you, bro. Like if you're gonna be the villain, like just be the villain. I'm glad he brought Young Miami out once again for marketing. We should have had a Shanti there too. They, he should have had a shine there. They should have did the whole motherfucking song. That's your latest ba- uh, latest fucking good hit. That's your latest hit, bro. And it's like, you don't need to be out there trying to do evil, okay? No motherfucking more because you already, you know, you still dropping hits. You already got this song, this new song, Young Man. You said you got some new music. You should have been performing your new shit. And I know, I know, you know, you got hits from several eras. But I'm just tired of Diddy, like... Like, Diddy, bro, we know, we know why Big not here no more. Them people sat you down and told you, it could go like this if you do this. Okay? That's how the Illuminati get people. Like, that Rosemary's Baby shit. I always, like, when I, there are certain pop culture movies or certain movies that, like, show you how the shit goes. And in Rosemary's Baby, they sat... The husband, Rosemary husband in the room, and they didn't show that part though. But you already, but he was constantly hanging by this dude's house. So you already know they were sitting down in one of their rooms talking, and the dude was trying to put him on. Oh, yeah, you know, this is what we do, and it's gonna need, you're gonna need to do this. But once you do that, then we're gonna do this. I keep saying that's how the shit work. So with Diddy, we know why Big isn't here. And Kim Porter is not here for other reasons. And some people just are not around for other reasons. And you're not about to convince. After you've done all of that, you're not about to convince us you know good dude. And he had Mary J. Blige there um, reading, you know, a script that clearly his black ass wrote. Trying to convince people that... He's done just so much for pop culture and all this. Like, Diddy, good for you. You've done stuff for pop culture that ultimately benefited you. Not black people as a whole. You do things that um, benefit you and others around you who have taken the same oaths as you. Because that is a part of the agreement in the first place. So, don't think that... You're really doing something for us because you've entertained us with shenanigans for decades. You've given us great music. You've given us hits. And we appreciate that. But that's how 
Satan works. Devil was an angel of music. Like that's how, that's all he really can do for you is give you tunes. And that's what we see with Hollywood and the people in it. They don't do shit for us, but give us music, entertain us, because that is all Satan does. So, like, he cannot, like, really offer you much else. And I'm not going to even, I could go deeper with that, but I'm going to leave it there. Ultimately, Mary J. Blige, you look like a damn fool trying to defend Diddy. Like, you one of the, you know, few people, like, Mary J. Blige is, like, one of the only people who really go hard for Diddy. Like, you don't even really hear Jay-Z don't talk much at all, and he don't need to, because he has a lot of dirt. But, um, neither does Beyonce. Both of their ass. They shut up, they shut the fuck up for a reason. But it's just, like, nobody, even them two, don't go hard for Diddy. And Jay-Z been his friend for years. Like, they don't, you know... They don't be going hard. And notice how when Kanye was reading that bullshit off at the BET Awards, Kanye had on a fucking... That that was clone Ye, and we didn't even see that nigga face. So, no face, no motherfucking case. Like, come on, yo. Strategic as fuck. Like, like, Diddy, boy, bye. Um, I'm I'm wishing your show success, because I think it's going to be a good show. But you need to leave black artists alone. You need to just embrace being a villain. If that's who you're going to be, that's who you're going to be. You don't need to be trying to convince us that you know nice guy because you're far from. And that performance just was blasphemous. And um, you too old to still be wishing for the world's validation. And you too old to still care about what the world thinks about you. And to still be trying to please the people because he was like I love y'all and trying to push love and I keep trying to tell y'all that that's Alistair Crowley all fucking day pushing that love bullshit so with Diddy boy like people who know about the occult and who know you for your works know the voodoo that you do let's talk in the comments y'all what y'all think about his performance what y'all think about Christian getting out there singing Mace's song that shit was high level evil and um you know young miami out there in all red high level evil keisha cole with the red hair high level evil mary j blige with the blonde like y'all got a peep game symbolism all around and through this so i don't see it for this dude he too old like he's not too old to be making hits he's just too old to be with the antics Okay, because like Diddy, Diddy got hits in him, but it's just like, just make your hits and shut up. You don't got a fucking jive turkey. You really don't. So I'm going to talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.